and it's a very scary cancer because it's usually asymptomatic. It's not a cancer you can catch early. And it's extremely rare. This form of cancer is now spreading among young people. And doctors are anxious to get the word out here because oftentimes by the time it's detected, it's too late. News 4's Carly Gordon spoke to the latest patient who is now suddenly and unexpectedly in a fight for his life. Together for 10 years, married for four, and for Robert and Angela Adams, it all started with the corny pickup line. He's like, hi, I'm Robert, you're cute. What's your name? I said that. The two were living in California. Angela, a full-time interior architecture student. Robert, working in real estate, but training to get back into law enforcement. Eating reasonably well, you know, exercising twice a day. You no, know, we don't drink, we don't smoke, we don't go to fast food. So Robert was caught off guard by the sudden pain in his lower abdomen. They rushed to the emergency room thinking it was appendicitis. Several doctors and days, three CAT scans and a surgery later. I finally just said, look, just bottom line it with me here. You know, what is this? And uh, said, yeah, it's, it's going to be uh, stage four appendiceal cancer uh, with a bunch of crazy cells that she can pronounce the names of that I can't. And, um, you know, it's your move. Within days, the two packed up their bags and moved back to Nashville. Right now, they're preparing for weeks of chemo. Next, Robert hopes to undergo cytoreductive surgery, where doctors will cut him open, take out each organ, trying to remove as much of the cancer as possible. Then they'll pour heated chemotherapy inside his abdominal cavity, where it will sit for 90 minutes. And the hope? To buy Robert time. But it's scary. You know, it's scary to feel like you could lose your best friend and the father of her child. Angela is pregnant with a little girl named Grace. This was supposed to be um, the happiest time of our life. Our miracle baby. That we had waited like a really, really long time to have. Tonight, they're sharing their story to get the word out. This cancer is increasing, especially among young people. And it's a very scary cancer because it's usually asymptomatic. It's not a cancer you can catch early. It just grows and grows and grows away, and then by the time they find it, you're in a you know much worse situation. So if you do have symptoms, a change in bowel activity, abdominal distension, weight loss, or pain, go to the doctor. You need to go get it checked out. And Robert says, stay positive. I look at this as you know when I get through this, when I beat this. There's going to be some bad days. You know, there's going to be some setbacks. There's going to be some bad news that's going to come, but. But I still fully intend, you know, no matter what happens, just to keep keep pushing. Robert's first round of chemo alone will cost thousands of dollars. He'll be out of work for months, and soon Angela will be at home caring for their newborn. If you're able to help, there is a GoFundMe page set up, and we've posted a link on the News 4 app. Carly Gordon, News 4 Nashville. Oh, our hearts are with them. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Vanderbilt just started a new support group for young adults with cancer. It is for patients who are between 20 and 45 years old. They're offering support for everything from nutrition and pain management to psychosocial and fertility issues. The idea is to make sure these patients don't feel alone. This is a very difficult time uh, for the majority of patients. Many of them are embarking on a new career. Um, to having a, creating a new family, um, and all of a sudden they're now being diagnosed with um, cancer um, when they should be really at the pinnacle of their life and enjoying um, their lives. Absolutely. If you or someone you know is interested in getting involved, you can learn more at youngadultswithcancer.com.